Hello, dear students. I hope you are fine there. Uh, I hope you know that what I will teach you today. Yes, today I will teach you about the features of fourth and fifth generation computers. Along with, I will teach you the uh, differences between third and fourth generation computers. Let's start. Okay. Now you see here this picture, this computer's pictures, this computer's pictures. These two pictures uh, are here, I have shown you. These are fourth generation computer. And you see here a small device, this and this two. This is main component of fourth generation computer and it is called as microprocessor. So the main component of fourth generation computer is microprocessor. Now, what is called fourth generation of computer? You can say that the computers that are developed and used during the time of 1976 to 2020 is called as fourth generation computer. So fourth generation computers are using from 1976 to till this day. And its main component is microprocessor. The first mi microprocessor is Intel 4004. So you know that what is called fourth generation of computers. Once again, the computers that are developed and used from 1976 to 2020 or till this day is called as fourth generation computer. Now you see here the features of fourth generation of computer you see on the screen I'm going to point out here. The first feature that is the main component. So main component of fourth generation computer is microprocessor. Number two, size is very small. The size of fourth generation computer is very small. It has high speed. Its speed is very fast. Number four, it is user friendly because it is easy to use. That's why you can say it is user friendly. Number five, using high level programming language. So fourth generation computers are using high level programming language. Sixth uh, features, it has high storage capacity. Yes, it has high storage capacity because it, co it can store a large number of data. That's why it has high storage capacity. Number seven, it gives accurate output and reliable because fourth generation computers gives very accurate output or result and it is reliable. Number eight, processing speed is measured in the term of picosecond. That's why its processing speed is very fast. And number nine, it is single user system. You know that some systems are multi-user and some systems are single user. Single user system means uh, one user can work at a time and multi-user means many users can work at the same time. So uh, this micro uh, computer or you can say fourth generation computer is single user system. So how do you say that or how do you define that? What is microcomputer? A computer that uses microprocessor is called as microcomputer. Now example of fourth generation computers are Apple computer, laptop, IBM computer, IBM compatible computer, etc. These are the example of fourth generation computer. Now let's have a features of fifth generation computer. Now this fifth generation computers are on process. It is not completed. It is on process. You can say it, it is incomplete. And we are expecting that fifth generation computer will have thinking power or decision power like human being. 
so which is called as ai also the full form of ai is artificial intelligence and you can uh, define it like this the computer which will have thinking power or decision power is called as ai the main component of fifth generation computer will be uh, ulsic you can say ulsic either you can say ulsi either you can say B, uh, biochip these are uh, the terms or the main device which will be used in the fifth generation computer. So simply you can say that the main component of fifth generation computer will be ULSIC. Full form of ULSIC is ultra large scale integrated circuit. Now see here, fifth generation computing device based on artificial uh, intelligence are still in developed though there are some applications such as voice recognition that are being used today the use of parallel processing and the superconductors is the, is helping to make artificial intelligence reality the goal of fifth generation computing is to develop devices that respond to natural language input and are capable of learning and self-organization. Now, the features of fifth generation computer, you can say that. Number one, you see on the screen, number one, ULSIC will be main component, processing speed will be very fast. It, is, it will be faster than first, second, third, and fourth generation computer. Number third, it will have thinking power like human being. It will have decision power like human being. It will understand uh, natural language. Multiprocessor will be used. So more than one uh, processor can be used in fifth generation computers. It will have very high storage capacity and they will use high level programming language. Now let's see here. Example of AI based one. This is, you see here, I'm going to show you. Sophia Robot movies like Blade Runner 1982, The Terminator 1984, Artificial Intelligence 2001, Robots 2005, Real Steel 2011. Big Hero 6 2014, Elita Battle Angel 2019, and many more movies now resident in Nepal are based on AI. It is based on AI. So you see here, yes, this Sophia robot was brought in Nepal at first. It was brought in Nepal at first in uh, March, 2000, March 20, 2018. Now, going to say you about the differences between third and fourth generation computers, you see on the screen, point wise, I'm going to tell you. So third generation computers, the first differences between third and fourth generation computer is, uh, integrated circuit were used as main component in third generation and microprocessor is used as main component in fourth generation. The size of uh, third generation computer were big and the size of fourth generation computer is smaller or you can say it is smaller than first, second and third generation computer. Speed was slow in third generation and speed is fast uh, in fourth generation computer or you can say it is faster than first, uh, first second and third generation computer. Third generation uh, computers uh, cost was uh, very expensive and fourth generation computers cost is cheap. So it is cheap and third generation computer is expensive.
Okay, if you like my video, then you can subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you in next classes.